obviously it's, it's brand new. There's a lot of time for changes, adjustments, and learning, but um, yeah, curious to see how these teams approach it. They get last pick hunk up. Usually it's the hero, you know, old patch was getting first pick. Even still, I think we're the last hits, but also get harassed at the same time. So just very efficient. Bottom lane, meanwhile, Tino. Oh, that's first gonna be a first blood. blood. Yeah. Tino. First blood. Right, bottom. bottom though, they're going on Shadow Demon. Yeah, they're gonna go on for the second time, I think, this one. Can he just run away? He's still stuck in the car ends, and also spit Siphon on top of it. Slash him down quite easy by... Um, and also just, and you, you always want to have these supports with saves, which Shadow Demon is one of the, the few. Mid lane, oh. meanwhile. Yeah, Avalanche and a toss. I'll see you Shadow Demon once nice. in. And, um, sorry, not, not Charlie, but that is Bob, the Templar Assassin. Um, uh, the, the rise of all the high mobilities. Bottom lane, by the way. Bottom lane, X Mana spot, RM tuning in, one ship, killing spree already for Gabby. You know, he's trying to run away. Oh my. Top lane, yeah. also happening some fight. Avalanche on the toss, Carl go to side lane for the first time, and it's Nietzsche off the target. Left and right, man, almost at the same time. New Tiny getting forward. That is very important tower, and now side four is getting hot as well. Team Execration, X Mana spot, RM hit by the core ship. They get that the uh, Templars is in for the second time in this game. And they want to go for more. Why Mon, the support, Dave Prophet's running for his life, getting gone on by Palos. Okay, at least they got some. Oh, he's getting tipped as well. <laughs> uh, I mean, good news for the damage for the uh, so Fidelis far. and also Simulate. Uh, let's take a look at this one. He's getting triple teamed yeah. by Palos, by everyone. Saved by Kuku for a strike and trying to land the Is epicenter. It? But it looks like it's all reached. Oh, Avalanche on the toss. Carl throwing up in the scene and now he kills this trade. Next one's going to be Palos. Or maybe they can catch him all. It's going to be three in total. Adding up to the dead toll. Oh my. <laughs> so with, he, with the, his ultimate, the Charp Shooter can add a lot of nuke damage to, to finish mm. off the gank. Okay, looks like attack. some big fight gonna happen at the bottom lane. Going in first. Oh, setting up nicely oh. by that Cuckoo Bird strike right on two and then pull up with Avalanche on the toss. Oh, come on, man. As a creation, they seem a little bit powerless, like you mentioned just now. Like, they're playing it too passive. While T1 is his key point still, he has his epicenter ready, just waiting for yeah. someone to show up. And it's gonna be poor Bob, it seems. Uh, landing epicenter, burst strike, right, and then finishing up with the charge shooter. It seems like uh, there is no space for execration in the map at all to farm a cuckoo. Waiting for his cooldown, the burst strike. Right. Uh, Avalanche already comes out on the Beastmaster. Burst strike inside, half HP. Oh, they got the Let's throw some Centaur in. It looks like Tank is trying to save his teammates with the disruption. Once he comes out, the disruption, Primal Roar drop. And then that grip. So I met, I mean, T1 would be like, okay, we lost Cuckoo, but we're going to stay on the enemy side of the map. We're going to look to keep fighting. They've still got Exorcism. They probably still want to either take a fight. Oh my gosh. Zephyr gets a solo kill. He had vision of Beastmaster and just kills him jungling. Hey, Goss, so what do you think? Even though they're losing right now. Oh, and now that's a whole team spot. They go in. I I'm pre not pretty sure is that a blind burst strike or not, but however, it's just connected to the target. And the first one to fall is going to be Chang's. They can, they're trying to get one more guy. Yes, they can. Double kill for that power. All right. Ooh. Yeah. Trying to go for more. Uh -oh. and some good shit. No that was so powerful. But however, Bob is still on the HS. Uh, he's waiting for a support. But where is the support? He would be walk out, welcome with the epicenter. Didn't even have to use a barrel strike. No. Oh, white one's still charging forward. They may catch somebody. No, he's alone. Mm -hmm. But Man. they kill two mid. They kill the TA. TA had Aegis, so they just take out the Aegis and kill her a second time. Yeah. It's brutal. Yeah, he's gone for two. Oh, that was a wow. That's a checking inside oh, a perch. And I right, trying to save the disruption. And Tino interrupted that with a primal roar. White Mon in the middle of everything. He got shot down by the tower. A little bit too aggressive, uh, yeah. I would say. You know, diving in. One of them is pushing top. 
Bob about to get top tier one tower finally. And a bomb lane and tier one put a lot of pressure on the bomb tier two tower of team execration with a lot of teleportations going on. Got grip. And it's time with the grip first and nice one Tuku finding the gripper inside the tree line. He's gonna land up at his center. What a great play by Kuku to clear all the back line of team execration. Now is the, the job is down to the front line of the team T1 just to just chart ahead. Next one gonna be Palos being stopped by the burst right. Palos was stuck in a sprint siphon as well. Avalanche and a toss hit him with this for attack by that Carl. Still looking pretty strong for Palos and Carl just need to teleport away. He knows that it already hit his limit. Bob is moving in, looking at the Mordigian. All right, but uh, well, really, Palos. <laughs> Your teammates were Last so finger. far away, you know, Avalanche, and okay, he's gonna get hit by a toss as well. Chance, get into that Chang is smartless spot. Is he gonna do the disruption on himself? Yes. It looks like Gabby was waiting for that, jumping oh, in. No. A little bit too greedy for Palos at the moment, if you uh, ask me, and now his drop is quite low. Palos is out, Bob moving in, trying to be in, I'm trying to clean it, everything up. Yes, he can. Gabby seems to be the highest net worth in the game, but being at the Radiant Triangle. But they might fight each other down the river. Trying to bait the rune. Yeah. Oh, being quick first, and then releasing the life stealer. That's a decent damage. It's almost killed that Kubu. Back. If Kubu goes out without uh, doing the barrel swipe, that's gonna be disaster. The rest of Team T1 just need to go back to the base as soon as possible. But oh no, it's Bob is here already arriving at the scene. The start attacking oh. on the tiny. Where it gonna go? Get stabbed, bro. Get stabbed. Oh my dear, no more buyback for T1 side. Two calls down. Execrate and holding on the edges and about to take to it to high ground. Yeah. Oh I mean, my. yeah, they have ages. Like, they, they win that fight ages or no ages. They're just out playing T1 right now. Yeah. They found another pickoff, maybe. Okay, it's gonna scurry out of there, but. Yeah. Oh, they're diving into the TFO. You need to be careful, man. He's not that strong yet. Maybe he's just trying to go back and get the objective. It's gonna be at least one set Brax. Maybe and they kill Zephyr. The, the meld strikes chased after him even after the four stuff away. Oh, Chang needs to buy back in order to save the game right here because it looks like they want to end the game immediately. Turn on the exo system for White Mon. That's not gonna help that much. Gabby gets in. But when it comes to toe to toe fight, it seems to be a little bit disadvantaged when it comes to fighting Carlos and also Bob the TA. And the life dealer is but just wrecking him. Gabby is out with no buyback. This just go straight for the throne. And that's it. Sit. Game one. Ladies and gentlemen, belongs to Team Execration. Oh my gosh, that was quite the comeback. And, and I don't want to like, if, if anything, like I think this highlights, it was a comeback of sorts. Like they were down like maybe seven, 8,000 gold, but it wasn't like an insane comeback. Their draft was always super solid. And as a team, they just played so well. The fact that both their supports could save their carries, it meant that Palace could like play really aggressive in the front lines. And Bob was just being ignored in the fights. Like he, he died four times, but it felt like all his deaths were in the early game. After the early game, in every single team fight, he was just owning. They, they, they're down over ten kills, and they just win the game. That's so impressive. From yeah, I, I think just 